Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how to generate a parameter file dynamically from a table using IACS. So our parameter file will look like this. It should have a use sections in the top. Then the project name dot folder name and then dot uh, mapping or mapping task name. Then uh, the mapping specific uh, parameters. Then there should be global section. In global section, there should be a connection for source and connection for target. So it will look like this. To do that, uh, we should have our parameter values to be present in our in one of the tables. So we should create the table like this. It should have use section, uh, varchar two, then project name, folder name, task name, then the uh, mapping specific parameter, then global parameter should be global, then connection source, connection target, and the values should be like this as use sections then a demo project inside bracket then the scenarios then the mapping task name then the parameter value then global dollar dollar connection source equal to scott dollar dollar connection target equal to scott like this then uh, you can see in the screenshot the mapping will look like this it will have a source one expression and uh, one target which will be a file then uh, in expression, we have to use uh, uh, this use section. Then uh, chr10, uh, it will take it to the next line. In all values, we are using that. So that uh, instead of uh, generating the values in a single row, it will uh, create multiple rows for each and every uh, parameter value. Then target properties, uh, you need to select uh, no header. Let's go to the Informatica mapping. So this is source. I have selected the source. SRC PARM. You can go to expression. Next version, yeah, as I have shown it previously, you'll have to concatenate with CHR10 for each and every field so that each section value will be there in the top. And in the next row, uh, project name dot folder name dot task, task name, then CHR10. Uh, it will go to the next row, we'll have the department dollar dollar department number, then you'll have global. Then uh, source connection, target connection. Then let's go to the target. Go to, yeah, here you can generate it uh, during runtime. Create a new at runtime, you can provide the name. param underscore file dot param. Click on advance. You can see here I have, uh, I have selected that no header. Then I have created the mapping task for it. Yeah. So now let's uh, run the mapping. Click on my jobs. The admin task is running now. Yeah, it has completed. Uh, completed at 637. Let's go to the path. You can see at 637 the file has been generated. Click on this. You can see here. Started with use sections. That is used for adding uh, uh, mapping or mapping task level parameters. You can see here this is the project name and uh, folder name, mapping task name. And this parameter is for is related to that uh, uh, mapping only. Then we have uh, global sections, global level parameters. We have defined uh, connection for source and target. 
So in this way, you can uh, generate the parameter file dynamically uh, from the table. And uh, once the file parameter file is generated, you can use that in your uh, subsequent uh, mapping task. Thank you.